Finally. We are here for the final battle. We're not going to bother doing other such uh, silly things, as, as it says there. Uh, final exams for seniors will take place next week. Any unfinished business needs to be wrapped up. Now. So. We're doing this. We're doing first. Spinning all the training points in probably, Althea. <laughs> probably. And then we're just going for it. We're going to defeat Miss Talmage, whether she likes it or not. Uh, it probably has to be six, doesn't it? No, 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 what am I doing? I don't need observation. Do I? I do to knock it down initially. Ooh. Okay, let's do it in that then. So 21, because we're allowed, because we can't be on one, right? And then intimidation was probably the biggest factor last time. So whack that up and then 41. See, one point probably equals like a whole nother five. So, we good. Let's go. Confront all of them. Done. We've been through this already, so I'll see you on the other side. Right, so, logic says, can't remember if I explained this last time, but what we're going to be doing is defending with Tice until she goes. Because she's going to fuck off very quickly, so we can just use all of her stats. And sort of run them down for a bit. Intimidation's a good one to get out the way. And yeah, we're just going to keep using Tice over and over. Unless we've got sort of get like two stealth thrown at us. Yeah, sweet observation. Don't mind a bit of that. And then Tice will eventually leave. Oh, social. That's not one we want to see. <laughs> the less social, the, the the better. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, stealth. Okay, it's awesome. See, so yeah, 1990, enough. This is ridiculous. Do you realise that... Yes, okay. So we know all this. See you again in a second. And back we are. So, we're going to have to hope for just close to not a lot on sort of social and everything. We're really genuinely going to have to hope for... Uh, not a lot on social and not a lot on intimidation. Oh my god! Can you stop it? Jesus. The more observation and the more social she uh, stealth she throws at us, the quicker this will be. Oh shit, yeah, okay, so you lose 10 now. Oh, we might be in some trouble if she keeps throwing fucking social at us. Oh my god. The RNG is not being very kind to us. Oh my, would you stop it? Mate, I will fight you. I mean, that's what I'm already doing, but whatever. Look at 35! We're gonna beat her in social at this rate! Jesus! Block... 70, so... We can start blocking soon... And now we can... Oh no, we can probably outdo stealth now. Do I have any observation items? I do, awesome. So I can just outright start counter-attacking. Always win. St oh my god, if she throws one more... Do we have any more green items? I can't remember. Here's hoping for more of those, because that way we don't lose any... Would you stop? What the fuck is wrong with you? Alright, she's got the least amount, so let's put it onto her block. F you saw what I mean? 15. She's going to go down to that. Uh, she's going to get lower in social. Oh, Jesus. I thought intimidation was going to be the problem. Uh oh. Mate! Did I do something wrong to you? Jesus! Stop giving me social! Hang on, can we just counterattack with intimidation at this point? We actually can. That's how low it is! Jesus. Uh, we can't counterattack with stealth. We have to knock uh, another 10 off. But luckily, yeah, it'll go down to 1. Now I can start counterattacking. Do I have any stealth items? No, they're all intimidation, so. Just gonna have to hope for a bit of chance. Yeah, all day, all good. Okay, so now I think we're finally gonna rattle this fight off. We can't, we can only take three more intimidation shots. No, hang on, what? Once one thing goes down to zero, I win, right? Yes! <laughs> Come on! All right, all right, you little brats, I'll tell you the truth. It's hardly difficult to stir up trouble among a 
bunch of pampered half-grown Siamese cats. There, you tell that to Oxford. Each of you girls think you should be the crowing queen of the walk. Really? <laughs> Have you not met Mallory and Rowan? They're behind me. They, they don't think that... What? Uh, whatever. Two queens and one hive, neither will thrive. What are you, cubics? All of you, you're only waiting for the chance to turn on each other. Trying to keep the peace here, I deserve combat pay. But as long as I excelled at my job, no one would believe I was necessary. Black bag jobs never earn any thanks. I had to turn up the heat. You were behind all those cases. You set up that mess in the steam tunnels. You recruited Von as the mole. That one. I had no idea what was down there. I simply sent you in to scatter the pigeons. My hands are clean. Oh, come on. That's almost definitely a lie. Don't pretend to be outraged, Elsa. You would have done the same if it served your advantage, would I? Yeah, probably. If it served your advantage. I know you. Your heart is black with ambition. You were the perfect tool. I never intended for you to fail. If St. Claudine's reputation slipped far enough and the school was shut down, I would lose my job. I needed you strong. But now you have passed through the gauntlet and have been tempered by it. You have faced adversity as deception and deception as adults do. You have learned to disregard the rules for your own ends. I am proud of you. Now we can work together. I expect a reward for my silence. I resign as student council president. <laughs> See, the problem with resigning is that is the moral high ground. We haven't been doing a lot of that this game. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> we really haven't. So I expect a reward for my silence. Now we can work together. Now we can work together, because, I mean, there's really not that long left. Yes, now that we understand each other, everything will be just fine. For the rest of the year, the student council case log remains blissfully empty. All is well at St. Claudine's. At last, the time has come. You and your fellow seniors exchange your white dresses for black robes, solid and sober as cassocks. Ah, oh, I've done it, haven't I? I've got through only my third game on the hardest difficulty. I can say that because people who haven't been watching the whole series and only looked up the ending won't know this isn't actually the hardest difficulty. I hate to think what that what that last boss fight was like on the hardest difficulty, Jesus. You fix the cap upon your head, the blue and white tassel hanging to the right of your face. Seniors and their families fill the pews of the chapel. One at a time, as your names are called, you proceed to the front and kneel to be blessed. When you rise, you are handed a white leather book cover embossed with the golden seal of St. Claudine's. Inside, the proof of your achievements. Treachery, treachery, treachery. <laughs> The culmination of all these many years of toil. After all the senior years have received their diplomas, at a queue you stand and shift your tassel from right to left. And then, two by two, you process down the aisles and out of freedom. Hurrah! That is me throwing my cap. You've done it! You fucking right have. Althea lags behind you in the crowd. You see a tearful freshman run girl run up and throw her arms around her. Althea returns the embrace, pressing her hands against the lacy expanse of the girl's back, then sends her on her way. Catching your eye, Althea grins and shrugs. Some things never change. Everyone is cheering. The swirl of white-clad underclassmen frosts around you as parental cameras flash and flicker. Today, a chapter of your life closes and a new one must begin. Oh, well, we got post-credits, what happened later. Let me guess, we broke it off, but several years on, rekindled it. That's the way it always works. It happened with Isabel in Winter War. This always works that way. Also, you attended Newcomb University, a notorious party school for the well-to-do. Yeah, surprising. It was inevitable that her relationship with Elsa would suffer the strain. The two agreed to part ways until the five-year high school reunion. What a fiery reunion that would be. They need some hell of cleaners for those toilets. Ties caused a minor scandal in school but the next year by showing up with her hair dyed multiple shades of green. Why would you do that? Whatever. When forced to choose between dyeing it black, cutting it all off, or wearing a headscarf, she chose the scarf. Yeah, funny that. Von did not bounce back easily from her expulsion. In her new school, she fell into a crowd of gamers and other ne'er-do-wells. Ugh. Gamers? Ugh. 
Oh, how ghastly. Her parents were terribly disappointed in her slipping grace, but Fon seemed strangely pleased. How we got that information, I do not know. Mallory stayed on at St. Claudine's and eventually learned to appreciate the refined art of serving tea and cookies, even if her tea was actually lemonade. <sighs> Fucking gingers can't get anything right. She's also started her own spider watching club. That's tragic in a way that I'm not surprised by. Despite not having stood for re-election, Rowan was appointed student council to the student council again in the following year. Yet, have you seen her skills? Of course she was. She was the only one with any skill, in fact. <laughs> However, her attendance at council activities declined, particularly when meetings were scheduled to coincide with her favourite soap opera. Naomi Talmarsh continued <laughs> How she got a job with that amount of white makeup on I do not know Continued in her position as student council advisor for the next three years Albeit with a substantial raise in her salary It worked Afterwards she left St. Claudine's to pursue a career in local politics It was rumoured that a secret patron helped to finance her career In exchange for supporting certain changes in the law Elsa dedicated to herself the studies at U Stylus with her usual ruthless focus. After the responsibility she had juggled in her senior year, university was almost too easy and she was able to fit additional credit courses into her schedule. That just sounds like she's bragging. Back at St Claudine's, Elsa's presidency passed into school legend, the year of the Grey Mistress, who ruled from the shadows, fought off smugglers and kidnappers, and tucked good little girls into their beds at night. Excuse me? Uh, excuse me? Didn't know the BBC were around. Her picture remained hanging in the student council office, where it was said to whisper advice into the ears of those who followed her footsteps and those who were on MDMA. Oh, look at that. Case is 56. 100% solved. Again, those those who were only listening, not going to know that's not true, is it? So, <laughs> one person or two believe me. Queen or Thea relationship romance time. 3 minutes 29. That sounds about right. 3 minutes. No, it doesn't. 3 hours 29. That sounds better. Red mask rejected. Damn straight it was. That's at 1. Huh. The one I liked more. Hang on a minute. Is this a full credit section? And Spikey isn't mentioned once. There is always Spikey in every Hanako Games game. I'm scared. Where is he? Oh my god, he might actually not be here. I'm scared. Bjorn Lind... <sighs> what is it about musicians? They only... Alright. What is it about musicians? They all sort of need vaguely unpronounceable names and then just the English too. It's just like, no. Edward Blakely and Edward Elgar. They're probably American. <laughs> I knew he couldn't get away. Engine Python. Python, what a guy. Endgame. Oh, I finished Black Closet. Whoa. What a what a champion I am. So the next uh, I'll I'll probably do a mini series of this. Uh showing off because you can sort of like make custom minions. Sorry, I'm too busy beaming the fact that I finally finished this game. <laughs> Um, there's this yeah thing where you can make your own minions and then set it for like I don't know a certain amount of weeks and then uh, try and survive doing that. So uh, the next time we play Black Closet, it will probably be that. But for now, this is the story mode. My name is Denarium. I finished Black Closet. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>